the best approach uh, as the year started and we finished the uh, seasons, uh, holidays, and uh, the tough winter, it's a good idea to start with going to your doctor and ask for a preventive uh, visit where there are a lot of blood tests should be done to check on cholesterol, diabetes, uh, and other problems, thyroid, and other preventive issues in addition to some diagnostic uh, testing for cancers in general, colorectal cancer and breast cancer and all the other details. The interesting things this year that the United States uh, Preventive Task Force this January came up with a new recommendation about diabetes. And it's really exciting news where they said we have to check for hemoglobin A1C, which is the three-month sugar average, from the beginning. We don't need to wait for the sugar to go up. So, And that based on a large number of uh, statistics and research in 2015. And they found a really good value to have this test done. It will be a good idea to mention it to your doctor and, and ask for it, whether you you have diabetes or not, but a lot of times that like, you could have the glucose normal, but the average sugar is high. And personally speaking, from my experience, I, I follow this all the time. And I have a patient two years ago, she came to me for weight loss. Part of the test was the hemoglobin A1C. It was 5.9, which reflects sugar average about 95 and 100. Unfortunately, she did not continue the program. She has to move and something changed in her personal life. Came four months ago and her hemoglobin A1C is 12.2, which reflect average sugar 300 to 350. Uh, again, that uh, does confirm the research and the statistics that said overweight women will become diabetic 40 times more than the regular woman who has normal weight. Overweight men will have diabetes 60 times more.